we are agents of history. And so you decide on which side of history you want to be, which kind of agent you want to be. My name is Daniel Nyakora. I was born in Nyalenda, so we are a family of five. Uh, we moved on from Kisumu to Kitale, uh, where I did my primary school. And because of our situation, you know, we would move from place to place, from primary school to primary school, and school was essentially our escape route. Then uh, did well in my primary school, went to St. Anthony's Boys High School. Uh, in high school, I was quite studious, but at the same time, I also was very active outside of class. Particularly, I played tennis, and I also participated in student government and science congress. I ended up in my senior year representing my school in the National Science Congress, where we won a chemistry exhibit, and also was the school captain in my final year. Uh, so after high school, I was ranked nationally, and I was contacted by Equity, Kitale branch. Um, and told me about the equity program. My time at the equity leaders program was a bit more special. I was lucky to be admitted to the University of Pennsylvania. I decided to major in economics and to minor in French, uh, just to expand my uh, cross-cultural understanding and uh, education. And so I did the economics program at Penn in Philadelphia and involved myself in many um, college activities like the Black Wharton Undergraduate Association, and you know the Pan African Students Association and the Assembly of International Students, uh, all of which helped me enrich my cross-cultural international uh, understanding. Some of who are my friends right now. Um, I even got a chance to study abroad in France. So I was at the Université François Rabelais in Tours, France, uh, but also spent some weekends in Paris and also in a couple of weekends toward around Europe to just understand um, how advanced countries in Europe um, uh, work. I graduated in 2015 uh, with uh, university scholar honors, did my, my internships before with international brands like the Boston Consulting Group and Morgan Stanley in New York. So that working with global brands essentially gives you the uh, perspective of what work could be um, and that enriched my professional capacity. But then I was very intent to come back to Kenya. So I came back um, and now I am uh, working with a company called the Metro Africa Express, which is helping transform mobility from internal combustion engines to electric mobility. And I'm lucky or privileged to be the head of expansion. Particularly what I find a lot of fulfillment right now as well is Kilimani Project Foundation. We work very closely with elected leaders and government structures so that we can get our issues addressed, both from um, sort of like an emergency, but also from a policy or planning issue, right? And so we're very happy to meet with the governor recently, and he's very intent on engaging, especially the resident association in his borough's plan to administer uh, the, the affairs of Nairobi. We have a mental health committee um, that is really combating the issue of mental health among us, the youth. You'd find people suffering in private, so we're bringing that to the fore as a community, bringing people in, you know, uh, sensitizing our community members on the need to take care of your mental health just as you can take care of your physical health. Work has to be done, and work is governance, suggesting ideas. And here is where we can help. So those are the things that I'm seeing that I will do more and more in the future. Many people think that history has ended. Now we are in the modern times. I still think that um, we are still writing history daily. You know, what we are doing today, when someone is reading about it in 2100, that is history. We are agents of history. And so you decide on which side of history you want to be, which kind of agent you want to be. With the transformational leaders that are being developed from Equity Group Foundation, we'll recognize that there has to be a generation in our Africa or our Kenya that will take the sacrifice and say we will take the hard choices so that the future generations can be better.